Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Tuesday, January 30th, and what I've got for you today is a fun box. It was literally just dropped on my porch, um, and I need some quick hits to list, and fun boxes are usually good for that. So, um, let's get this baby unboxed for you. It comes from Phoenix, Arizona. And for those of you that don't know me, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. Okay. I ordered this box January 24th, so it did come pretty quick. Um, it does cost $34, then with the $10 shipping and tax, um, it works out for me to be close to 50 bucks. So... Let's pray for a good one, you guys. There is your top peak. We've got one little sheet of paper. Here is another peak. I'm kind of liking the looks of this box, you guys. So, first item is a belt. And let's see if I can do this without damaging anything. <clears throat> so there is your belt it does have a tag it is um polyurethane and metal <laughs> i do not i do not see any branding on this belt let's see how big she is okay she is going to be probably a medium to a large even though on the little tag here it says zero double zero so anyway really cute belt um I don't know what I'll do with it I will I probably will not list it so um if anybody here is interested in it five bucks and then five bucks on shipping Otherwise, I will either keep it or take it to my local consignment lady. So, that's item number one. Item number two, we've got these slippers, these leopard print slippers. Gosh darn it. And they do appear to be brand new. Frida Salvador, holy shit, size medium. These are, um, these actually might pay for the box, you guys. Um, I cannot give you a price on these. I have to look them up. But they are size medium, Frida Salvador, suede bottoms. If anybody is interested, hit me up on email. I think this might even be real calf hair on the top here. So, um, yeah, these are a great piece. Oops. Yep. Let's try not to fling them all over the floor. They even have the packing in there. So, woohoo. Okay, next up, we have a new with tag bra. It's a DKNY wire-free bra. It is a size 34C, and it has... Oh, I really like this bra. I wish it was my size, damn it. It has a front zip. I don't know why I'm struggling with the zipper, you guys. I I don't think it's broken. There we go. No, it's not broken. It was me. So here is your bra. It is a zip front. It's got a T back. New with tags. Um, wire free size 36 C. I do not see a retail price on this. 
Um, and I don't know what I would charge. So if you're interested, hit me up. I got to do comps on that. Next up is another new with tags piece. This is always. What are we? Always. I guess it's like a bike short. These are a size large. 92% polyester, 8% spandex. Oh, they're super soft. Um, again, I know nothing about the brand. They do just appear to be a black bike short. Um, so I will have to look these up. And we've got some sunglasses, y'all. Oh. These are actually really kind of cute. Hand polished. <laughs> China. Um, I am not seeing a maker on these. But wow, they're really cute. Um, if anybody's interested in these, five bucks plus five bucks shipping. They are really cute. I'm just not seeing, I'm not seeing any branding on them though, you guys. But I mean, there's numbers on the end. But anyway, all right. So there's that. You know, you always get sunglasses in a fun box. Next up, we've got some Forever 21 tights. Um, they are a basic tight in a dark blue. I'm trying to see if I see a size on here. Oh, they're a medium large. Maybe I should put my glasses back on. They um, were marked down, it looks like, to 99 cents. So I don't know if that was a, ooh, ooh. They feel really, really cool. I will probably see if my sister-in-law wants these. I can't imagine that they would necessarily be worth listing, but who knows. Next up, we've got a pair of tube socks. They appear to be unbranded, so there's that. Ooh, Coach, baby. We have a hot pink Coach checkbook holder. Please walk Frank right away. He's got to pee, you guys. And I'm doing a video. So anyway, Coach. Hot pink checkbook book, ugh, checkbook holder. If anybody still uses a checkbook, this is in great, great condition. I don't have a price for you right now. Um, I will, I do see a little boo-boo on it right here. So I'm going to try to clean it and I will bring this back in my purse sale. Go on, Frank. All right, next up, we've got a watch. Rip Curl, and I do know that that is a brand. Let's see, is it working? It is not working, <laughs> but it is really, really cute. So I'm gonna look it up. I will look it up. I've gotta try to find a place where I can get watch batteries um, replaced cheap. The jewelry store is outrageous. Um, but if I can find a place that does them cheap enough, I will get this one replaced along with the Michael Kors. And last item in the box is this hot pink tote bag. And it has initials on it, JLJ. I don't know if that's a brand. Oh, oh, snap. J. Crew. I still don't know what the initials are, if somebody had initials put on it. Um, but this is a brand new with tags um, J. Crew tote bag. So, and it has a little baby bag attached to it. So, I am going to check this out. I'm going to see about these initials. I don't know why in the world. I'm 
trying to see what this is made from. Oh, this is actually, this is leather, you guys. So, yeah, I will definitely be um, seeing what I can do about these initials, seeing if actually they're supposed to be there. But I know if they're not, there is a way to get that off. Um, but I'm going to save this for my bag sale. So... Wow, I think I got an awesome fun box, you guys. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. So I got exactly 10 pieces. I am fine with that because this box was definitely, definitely a great, great box. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to drop this video, you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to drop it today or if I'll drop it tomorrow. Um, I am trying to keep content coming to you on the regular. Um, so, coming up. Gosh, I've got America's Thrift Supply purse box. I think I have a thrifty apparel box coming. I still have that active wear box hanging around, you guys. I got to get it open because I got to carry my ass to the gym. Um, and we've got the name brand handbag collab coming up. Um, let's see. Wanted to talk to you about my designer box. So, um, probably what a week or so ago, I unboxed a designer box, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a horrible box by any means, but it was not a fantastic box either. So, in that box, I got Dior sunglasses, which I sold. That's the only item to date that has sold out of the box. I got the Moschino Sheep and Chic um, red wool blazer. Um, I got two Derek Lamb tops. I got Kurt Geiger shoes, the Lander, the Loeffler Randall bag, and I don't know what the other piece was, but I do have everything listed in my Poshmark closet that is available. Um, the Loeffler Randall bag, I'm going to bring back in my next purse sale at a little bit of a discount. Um, it is listed in my Poshmark closet. It's listed high. Um, and just so you know, you guys, <clears throat> when I do a bag sale, whatever bags are left over from that bag sale, I then turn around and list on Poshmark. So if you're late to the party um, and you're looking, you're wondering if a bag is available, look in my Poshmark closet because if it's available and listable, it is there, okay? Um, so I, again, I don't have a whole lot. I haven't been out. It's snowing like a bitch here in Michigan today. Um, so I think with that, I'm going to go peace.